All right. Hi, everyone. On today's episode of Inspire Me Wednesdays, we have someone that you're going to want to take lots of notes from. Okay. She is someone who is leading from the front, is blowing up right now. Last month, she got Tulum qualified. She got perfect 10. And she hit market mentor for our new girls here. That is the Cadillac rank. So it's a huge, huge, huge accomplishment. And I am so excited and honored to have you on tonight with us, Faith. Let me unmute you. Hi. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. Yes. Okay. So the way this works, we're going to ask for you to share your story in like five minutes, kind of like what you think we need to know to learn a little bit about you and your journey. And then Raquel and I have some questions for you. Okay. That sounds perfect. You want me to get right into it? Get right into it. All right. Let's do it. Um, thank you so much for the introduction too. Last month was wild. And if you would have asked me, so I, I started two years ago. I joined money two years ago. It'll be next week is my two-year anniversary. And if you would have asked me then when I bought my product pack that day, you know, you never really forget the day you buy your pack, even if you're not even sure where it's going to take you. I was actually nursing my newborn. <laughs> my toddler was napping. Um, and But if you would have asked me then that this was going to be my journey, I don't know if I would have believed you. Um, so yeah, let me just back up a little bit. So if you're, if you're new, you don't know me. My name is Faith. I'm a wife and mom of two. I'm from Buffalo, New York. And it is, I don't know if you can see out my window, but it's snowing <laughs> right now. Um, but I li I've lived here my whole life. Um, I went to college, did the traditional, like go to school, get a job, like a corporate job, did that. But I always had more of like a creative side. So social media is something that I've always been very interested in. I actually started a YouTube channel when I was like 26. Um, and this was even before kids just kind of playing around with it, seeing what would come of it. And to be honest, not much did. Um, I would, you know, maybe get sent some free product, make a little bit of money, but nothing really sustainable came of it. Whoa, sorry, guys. My tripod broke, and so I'm using a uh, water bottle to hold my phone up. Um, but yeah, I was doing the whole corporate nine to five. Um, but then when my husband and I decided we wanted to start a family, I just, for me on my heart, I was like, I just do not want to go back into an office job. Like I don't want to be away from my baby. So once I had my daughter four years ago, I decided to stay home. And so we were living on just my husband's income and it definitely made things tight. Right. Um, and uh, through the first couple years of being a new mom and navigating that, I, I was struggling a bit, to be honest. I really lacked community. Um, I lacked friendships and just having like goals to set outside of motherhood. I actually, by the way, if any of you guys are moms on here, you should go listen to Kristen Boss's. It's like one of her most recent podcasts. It's on mom guilt and it's so good. You're going to feel a lot better <laughs> after because I think we all, even outside of our business deal with that. Um, but I was just, yeah, I was in the trenches of motherhood and um, needed something more. And so the timing of it happened to be that after I had my second, my son, Jesse, I was scrolling on Instagram, found my mentor, Sarah, who I think is on this call, but she was talking about products. And that's really what drew me in at first was the products because I was dealing with a lot of postpartum hair loss and just my hair was not in a good place. Um, but she was talking about the opportunity and what caught my eye was she was talking about how she had retired her, her fiance, I think fiance is how she phrased it back then, uh, or now husband. But, um, I was like, that's wild because I've been dabbling in this social media thing and nothing I've done would even come close to replacing like a whole income. So I was like, all right, I'm listening. I um, I signed up for my part, my product pack. And um, the, I mean, it pretty much only took me a couple weeks to see the vision. But I think, like I said, when I bought my pack, I was like, you know what? If I can 
make back the cost of my product pack and make a few hundred extra bucks, then great. But what happened was, is I started to share the products. I started to see how many people were actually interested in it. And then I got my first paycheck. And I was like, what on earth? Like, this is way more than I was expecting. I got immersed in the calls. Like, that's one thing I will say is if you're brand new, like, get on as many calls as you can. Um, and I just started to see the vision. And from there, like, within my first, I would say, couple weeks, I was like, all right, I'm just going to go all in. And like I said, I had a three-month-old and a two-year two year old at the time. So it's not like I wasn't crazy busy, but I think once you realize – how something like this can be worth your time, you'll, you'll put the time into it. And so just to make a long story short, within my first year of business, I was able to replace what my corporate income would have been. And now as of two years in the business, I'm making more than my husband does. I've doubled what my corporate income was, which is crazy to me. And now I'm like, why not do more? Like, we're going to do even more than that. We're going all the way to the top. Um, but that's, that's my story. Uh, yes. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for sharing. So you, you talked a lot about social media and your creativity. And it is. Your, your content is bomb. How do you, especially like for my new girls that are juggling like motherhood and life, how do you feel like you set yourself up for social media? Like, do you pre-record content? Give us like all your social media tips. Like, do you just do B-rolls and have a bunch of content recorded? How do you yeah. organize yourself? The whole thing. Okay. So in the beginning, if you have like, my kids are a little older now, so they're two and four. I can kind of like, they can play by themselves. And so my thing now is like, I try to get ready every single morning and that might sound to you like, what? Like, how you get ready every morning. But I'm telling you, if you can just get yourself put together every morning, then when you have two minutes, you can, like, just be confident and throw up your phone and, like, make content. That for me. Now, some people just, like, show up messy. If, if you, if you want to just show up authentic and, like, have no makeup on, that's cool, too. Like, I would say don't feel like you need to be perfect to show up on social media. But if it is important for you just get ready every morning. It's going to make you feel better. Um, I definitely was not doing that in the beginning when I had a three month old and a two year old, I was just showing up how I was like, my hair honestly wasn't even done most of the time. Um, my makeup wasn't like 10 out of 10, but I was just showing up. And even if you have 30, 60 seconds when the baby's not crying or the kid's doing something, just take that opportunity to show up every single day. I don't think there's been a day since I bought my product pack that I haven't said something about money on my social media in the last two years. Um, and it's just, it's like a non-negotiable. So I would just say, show up messy, show up how you can. If it makes you feel better, make it a habit to get yourself ready in the morning so that you can just at the drop of a hat show up. In terms of like reels, yes, batching content is, definitely something I try to do so I'll try to if I know I'm gonna like it's a hair wash day I'll try and get two to three reels filmed um and filming doesn't mean you have to edit it right then so just get the camera out get yourself um get yourself uh sorry there was like a there was like a hand in my face <laughs> um just get the content filmed and then you can edit it later I love that. And how do you like organize your content? I get that question so much from my girls. Do you just have it a mess on your phone? Do you organize your folders and albums? Like organize, like you mean? Um, the content that you shoot. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> do I organize it? Um, okay. So well, let me say this. So I do have a little bit of a system for like the audios I'm going to use. So if I'm out, this is my tip too. set a timer. Don't just like go on Instagram and start scrolling because you'll get lost, but like set yourself a 10 to 15 minute timer, go through reels. And then I save my inspo like audios to a folder. Um, so that then I can go back and just remake the reel quickly from there. But um, I don't know if this question maybe clarifies, do I plan my content? It's honestly like I just I just try to like come up with ideas 
as I go. I think I try to do 50, 50 business and then like hair content. So, and, I, and it, it's kind of, it comes easily because I know what my core products are. So if you're new and you're going to be trying everything for the first time, you're going to kind of figure out which products are your absolute favorites. And then I would just say, run with those, like repeat those over and over again, because people need to hear something like 10 to 15 times before they actually end up buying or before they actually end up joining the business. So for me, it's the IR clinical system and the oil. So basically every other post or every two to three posts, I'm talking about those and maybe just like putting it in a little different spin. Hopefully that makes sense. Really quick. I think Raquel has one more, but with the videos, this is something we get asked so much and I don't even know how to answer because I am not a content queen. So let's say you're recording a bunch of, you know, I think you call it B-roll, right? Like extra, you record your hair, you're washing it. Do you have a folder that says, okay, hair wash videos, B-roll videos? Because me, I'll take a bunch of content and then it's so much I forget. I'm like, how do I find? So then it takes me five hours to make a reel and then I don't make it. Yeah. You remember um, you shoot for I, I basically just I I will sort based on videos like you can go into your your photo album and then just just look for the videos and then the other thing is too that's helpful I actually edit my content in CapCut not in Instagram so CapCut is an app it's a free app it's what I use to edit and then it's really easy to see all the different videos that I've done and you can kind of within that app just like reuse and splice things so I guess that's kind of how I would organize it I say I would say but I do have so I do have albums for like all the trips um I do have an album for like money content um but pretty much I'd say I go like on a week to two week basis like if I haven't used the video that I'm going to use in those one to two weeks I'm probably not using it and I just refilm something else Okay, now let's talk about kind of like where you feel like you shifted in your business from what you were doing, not when you first started, but what are you kind of doing different? Something maybe you learned that's like, okay, I implemented, I implemented this and my business took off. Like what got you to market mentor? Yeah, well, really for the first year of my business, I only focused on selling product. I was really only focused on VIPs and that's because that's where I was comfortable. And, um, you know, I, to a certain extent, I, I tried to recruit, but I think really mindset wise, I wasn't there. And so that's what I would say is get yourself to a point, um, whether it's through personal development or talking with your mentor or just doing it more. I think it just, I don't, for whatever reason, I, I wasn't comfortable with it. Now it's like the thing I love to do the most, but I think it's almost like that exposure therapy where you have to just do it. Like just do the reach outs, go um, network with people, like offering the business, talking about the business, talking about the money, talking about smart start. Um, for me, for whatever reason, it just was not what came naturally. And I get, it's probably because of my background in social media before trying to do like the affiliate side of things like to know at Amazon I was just so programmed for the five or six years I was doing social media to talk product so I had to deprogram myself and so once I figured that out and really I actually think it sparked um, my first earned trip was Vegas last year and that was about one year into my business and just being around people who have had so much success it was like okay I can't get to where I want to be just selling product like yeah it's great I'm making good money because the compensation plan is great even if you're just selling product but if you really want to maximize it you can't just focus on selling product and so I think I just had a huge mindset shift and um went really really focused on the team building aspect and recruiting and all that. And now it's my, my favorite part. Like I get more joy out of seeing the girls that I have brought into this business have success than I do my, for myself. I love that. Yeah. Now she gets over 10 market partners in a month. 
Um, okay, so this goes hand in hand with the next question. So when you get your market partner, how do you launch her, all right? Or like launch onboarding, like how would you get them started? How are you popping sure. new MMB? Mm -hmm. What are you doing with your team that you would say is working? Okay, so as soon as someone joins, the second that they buy the product pack, which normally is either on the phone with me or I am like walking them through with voice notes in the DMs, as soon as they do that, I send our onboarding uh, resources, which is in like a link tree. The first link is our onboarding like welcome video. It basically gets them excited, welcomes them to the business, goes over smart start, um, and I believe a brief MMP overview, um, a little bit about their launch post, and then making their hundreds list. Okay, so in that video is those things. I have them watch that video, and then within the first 24 to 48 hours, I, I request that they watch that and that we get on a call. So they watch that, and then we get on a call. I, um, you want to establish more of a rapport with the person, too, especially if it's not somebody that you already know. A, a lot of the people I've been recruiting are people from social media that I don't have a personal relationship with, so I'm trying to you know get to know them a little bit more answer any questions that they have from the video that they watch and then actually start going through their hundreds list right then because the idea is that they would have already come up with people that we can start doing reach outs to so I'll do a couple example reach outs with them so that they know you know how to reach out to somebody and there is actually in our onboarding also another video we have kind of going over that that they then watch next and then, do you, are you on three-way calls with them? Wait. Sorry. Okay. So they gave you their list. You, I don't know why I'm seeing some screen driving. Um, they gave you their list. You reach out the few first couple with them, and then how do you do? How do you deal with your with your girls' potentials? Do you do three-way calls, big potential calls, intimate potential calls? How are you helping them close their girls? Yeah, so we get in a three-way phone call or like a three-way chat always. Um, and I'm even going deeper than that. And like, especially for my new girls who then are bringing in girls and they're bringing in girls, like I'm on my level threes opportunity calls, like really digging deep into that and trying to duplicate the process. Okay, I'm not muted. Okay, and I think we have the last one. Guys, Faith has the crazy, one of the craziest PVs. Okay. Obviously, you you get a lot of VIPs, but how would you say is your seek I think how is your VIP retention? Uh good. I I think I I if I had to guess how many like flex ships I have going out this month, probably like a few hundred. Um, so good. Okay, but like how do you manage them or how do you oh. do you um, do you have an Instagram, a flow desk? Like how, do you, how, how do you keep in contact with them and get them to continue to order or see sales and things like that? Yeah, so I use Project Broadcast, which is a texting platform if you are new and don't know about it. I would say, honestly, if you have more than like 20 VIPs, you should use it. It's really great. Um, but you can basically text your customers when they have an upcoming flex ship. So I basically do this twice a month. I do it um, towards the beginning of the month for the first two weeks. And I'll send them a message being like, hey, you know, I see you have a flex ship coming up. Let me know if you need any help either editing that or pushing it off. Um, if there's any special, like sometimes I'll let them know what the only for you product is if they do run it. Um, so I'll send that. And then you can also send them sale alerts too, like a text alert when we have sales. I love that girl's project broadcast. I feel like a lot of people use that. So if you're not on it yet, write it down. Okay. And then last but not least, what's the best tip you can leave us with? Pretend we're one of your new girls, best advice, best tip, some motivation. Yeah, I would say just start posting on social media, even if you feel like you don't have the hair transformation yet, you haven't made the money yet, get it out there. Because here's the thing you can if you're doing your reach outs, doing your hundreds list, but people, especially if you're reaching out to people through Instagram, but there's nothing on your page, they're going to literally be like, did your account get hacked? Like what's going on? So 
you got to get the post out and don't let the feeling of like, well, my hair doesn't look, you know, like the other girl's hair or whatever. That's okay. Like you're going to, you can go on your stories or make a reel and be like, yeah, like this is why I'm trying the products. My hair doesn't look how I want it to look. And here are some before and afters of some other girls. And I can't wait for my hair to look like that. Kind of tell the story and explain. And then the same holds true for the business. So yeah, like I just signed up yesterday. I, and you can say like, I'm targeted to make and whatever smart start is, I'm targeted to make a thousand dollars in my first two months or whatever it is and then explain smart start it, you, you didn't do it yet but you're going to be on track to do it and you can still explain that and then have people again join you in the process of building their business so I would say just don't let the fear of like well I haven't done it yet or I don't have the hair yet stop you from talking about it because you can still talk about it without having the results yourself Amen. I love that so much. It goes hand in hand with the quote I love, which is ignorance on fire is stronger than knowledge on ice. And if you're new here, don't wait for the success before you start posting because you need to start showing up in order to get the confidence in order to get the success. Um, but Faith, thank you so much. Honestly, I am so like proud and inspired by the way you're running your business. We can't wait to see you pick up your car. Um, yeah. And it was great. It was great having you, Raquel. You're good, right? I, I have a call now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a great night. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.